Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn, to you, Shalom. Um, for the new listeners, what I said in Hebrew was Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God or Jehovah. Bahashim means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the only true name of his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus and Rechar Kodash is the Spirit Holy, which is the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. And um, yeah, I was meditating on watching some of the videos from today, the the other day. You know, the brothers, the apostles, and um. You know, it's it's in this truth, the longer you're in this truth, you begin to realize that shit, it seems <laughs> it seems like ninety nine percent of the people, you know, that you encounter that you know I wouldn't say ninety nine, maybe like like eighty five. 90%. It's the, the the percentage is up there. You know, I'm just throwing out a, a number speaking as a man. They're just not going to get this truth. Okay? They're not going to receive it no matter how much you break it down, the the most best perfect breakdown precepts lining up, lined upon line here little there little. 1 plus 1 is 2. A, B, C, red fish, blue fish, however you break it down, they will just, they're just not going to get it. They're not going to understand. They're not going to receive it. All right. This is um Romans 11 and 7. It says, excuse me, my sinuses are acting up all of a sudden. It says uh, Romans 11 and 7. It says, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the, ele the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So the election, the ones who are meant to receive it, the one that, were, that has been chosen to receive this truth, they're going to obtain it, and the rest are going to be blind. They're just not going to get it. Here. Close the door, please. They're just not going to get it. They were ultimately blinded by the Heavenly Father. Let's read the next verse. Uh-oh. <laughs> My daughter pinched her finger. Salakia. This is Romans 11 and 8. And it says, according as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So the heavenly father is the one who put this spirit of slumber on them. He put the spirit on them. So they cannot receive it. So they can't see it. So they can't hear it to understand it. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. To put have a spirit put on you. So you won't receive this truth. Romans 11 and 9. And David saith. Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a rip. And a recompense unto them. So it's to the to the ones who are not a part of the election, you know, King David's like, man, hey, 
to hell with them <laughs> pretty much to hell with them fuck them all right uh, Romans 11 and 10 it says let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always all right and that's the point so there's going to be those that are part of the election who are are going to obtain and then there's going to be those who are not that are going to be blind That's going to have that spirit of slumber put on them so they can't receive the truth. All right. Isaiah 69, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Now let me pull up the whole chapter. Verse 10 Make the heart of this people fat and their ears heavy and shut their eyes. At least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. All right. So just like we read in the Romans, some of these people are going to be made where they can't receive this. All right, their heart being fat, meaning their minds being closed off to this word. You know, their their ears heavy to where they can't get the understanding, even though you break it down to them properly. Shut their eyes. You know, Yahweh Shai did, <laughs> did miracles. He fed the multitude. All right. They seen the miracle, but you know they they came they came just for the food. They didn't come, you know, to hear the word and like, damn, you know, he he fed all of us with just this small amount of food. No, they just came because they wanted to get a meal, you know. But unless they convert, you know, and be healed, which. You know, you had some people uh, that are uh, to a quick understanding where they receive it right away. Then you have those that it takes a, a little bit longer. It takes time. It may take a couple of months. It may take years. And then they realize, it. you know, you guys have the truth. There is an individual, you know, his name isn't important. But he came to the camps to scoff. He'll come and he'll scoff and he'll have his questions and he scoff. And then he came back a year later. was like, you know what? You guys have the truth. You know, that individual is no longer amongst us. But, you know, he eventually his eyes were opened. Um, and that comes with. The Heavenly Father allowing you to get that understanding because he's the one that puts that spirit of slumber on you. You know what? I'm going to have to read this whole chapter. Hold on. Not the whole chapter. I got to read up in this chapter. Matthew's Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Which a parable is like a riddle, a secret. So his disciples asked him, Why do you speak, you know, in secret? Uh, why do you speak in a mystery, in code, to to the to the multitude of the people? Eleven, he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to them, it is not given. All right. So everybody's not meant to get this truth. He's like, look, I want y'all to get this. This is meant for you guys. To them, it's not for them. All right. So this word is going to reach the ones who are going to obtain it. That have been chosen. And then the ones who aren't, it's just going to go in one ear and out the other. 
or they're not going to take heed and even give it the time of day. Let me read up in this chapter. Let me see. Colossians 1 and 20. I started at 25. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. To whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Mashiach in you, the hope of glory. All right. So this this mystery, you know, has been hid for ages. But now it's being revealed through who? Through the, the men that Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shah, is set up to be these, okay, to be these ministers, to be these prophets, to be these apostles, to be these elders, to be these teachers. All right, to reveal the mystery of these scriptures. And the ones who are going to get that understanding are going to obtain that mystery, they're going to receive it. Everybody else is it's just the light bulb is not going to turn on. And that's going to be the majority of the people. All right. Their light bulb is not going to flick on. It may flicker, but it's going to flick right back off, you know, and coming into this truth, you know, the amount of years I've been amongst the, the men of uh, Great Millstone learning from the apostles on down when you first come into this troop you want to wake everybody up hey yeah we the israelites oh yeah what the band look I, I got these scriptures deuteronomy 28 oh well, what the bam yeah and they're just like oh, my, oh, oh when we rolling this next blunt up oh oh, oh we the israel oh, yeah yeah we the israelites okay uh, shit, uh uh man i'm about to go fuck this man's bitch <laughs> you know or or we can't eat pork no more what man shit you crazy man i just bought this shit on sale i'm about to eat this shit tonight you know no matter uh when you first come into this truth you just you want to wake everybody up but then you start to realize that this is not for everybody you know and and that's something we're gonna have to we gotta we're you have to accept it because then you're then you're uh, basically trying to wake people up that the Heavenly Father don't want to wake up, you know, and we just got to keep it. If you can't get it, we're moving on. All right. Yahweh Ratazadis was edifying to next time. Shalom.